host made us these coffees and has given us these biscuits to go with them for breakfast this morning. What an unexpected and kind treat. Good morning. We have just checked out of our Airbnb in Dubrovnik and it was so nice, especially this morning. As I mentioned earlier, she made us coffee this morning and she offered us biscuits to go with it, which wasn't part of anything that was just out of the kindness of her heart. Which was so nice. But her place is very, very clean. It is completely updated. I think in terms of amenities, it's probably actually the nicest place we've stayed in. And the price was good. And so, it was all positive with the exception of the location. I don't know if I would let that turn you off staying there because we walk everywhere. So it was an uphill trek from the bus station about 30 minutes with bags. And if you had more than carry on, you definitely couldn't do it with big suitcases because of the amount of stairs. You would have to take an Uber, which is totally accessible and probably pretty cheap. It usually is, yeah. When we've looked at Uber since coming to this country in particular, then most rides, even if they've been longer than 15 minutes, have been about maybe five euros, which is actually pretty nice. Yeah, and then to get into Old Town Dubrovnik, I'd say on the way down, it's probably about a 20 minute walk. And on the way back up, it's probably about 25 minutes because you are then going uphill. So as long as you're okay with that, we would highly recommend staying with them. Yep, very, very comfortable night's sleep and just mm -hmm. a lovely place to stay in. So we will put the link in the description below. So if you are interested, then you can stay here as well. Believe it or not, this is actually our last day in Croatia. How do you feel about that? Well, I, as it turns out, have absolutely loved Croatia. I basically <laughs> think it's very similar to Italy in terms of you have history here, you have natural beauty here. You have amazing food here, you have water here, the weather is great, except for it's slightly less discovered. I would basically say the same. Um, I think this is what a number of other tourist destinations looked like before they got super touristy. And honestly, like Rachel's alluded to, there's amazing history, great food, everything's very affordable. And honestly, it's just a fascinating place with some lovely people. So. If you haven't already, or maybe you're thinking, should I go, then 100% definitely do consider Croatia as a holiday destination, because it is wonderful. In terms of what we're going to be doing next, though, for today, we are obviously all checked out now. So we need to drop our bags somewhere, so we're going to head over to the bus station and drop them there. And then we're going to try and keep ourselves occupied, because... We have a long bus journey. We will be going from here in Dubrovnik all the way to Istanbul via coach bus. The whole journey is going to take us about 48 hours. I don't know if we were brilliant to save so much money when we decided to do a two-day bus trip or if we're going to completely regret it, but we'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> so we're going to go keep ourselves busy because the bus doesn't leave until 11 p.m. tonight. But we have heard about one particular place just outside of the city, which is actually between the old city and the bus station, which is called the Red History Museum. And that apparently is meant to give you a real insight into what this area was like in the days of communism. We heard it was fascinating, so we're going to give that a punt. Yeah, I'm really excited to check that out because... When we've been doing these walking tours in every single Croatian city, we've heard about their communist past when they were a part of Yugoslavia. But one of the tours that we really wanted to do was a communist history tour, but it was 35 euros a person and we couldn't justify it. Whereas this museum costs nine euros per person to get in. Let's go see what it's about.
museum is not just that you've got all these really interactive exhibits, but to give you an idea as to what people are eating and drinking at the time, they also have samples. This one is called, I think, Gone Here. So let's give it a try. like it tastes like sort of toffee like it was well original but it's laced with a bit of licorice in there as well so you got like a kind of toffee aniseed kind of flavor coming through it's really interesting just finished up in the Red History Museum. I think we spent at least an hour and a half, if not a bit longer, in there. I don't really know what to say, except for the fact that it was phenomenal and you should definitely come here. I love myself an interactive museum, so I think my favorite part is really seeing how everyday life was set up for people during that time period. And I just love that they have replicas of kitchens and living rooms and bedrooms and games and school supplies and food and clothing. I loved that place. You have to come here. It's so worth the nine euros. Yeah, I found it really interesting. I mean, having kind of such a really cool interactive space where literally kind of around every corner there's some extra information that tells you really about what life was like here during that time. I think the other thing that I really enjoyed was the balance. It wasn't pro-communism, it wasn't anti-communism in any way, it basically just gave you the facts. And you kind of started off just getting a bit of the history, you then got a sense of what life was like and how society kind of evolved over time during that era. And that was kind of all sort of the light side of it, and then there was also the dark side, like the espionage, prison camps, all of that kind of thing. And then also you got photos of how people lived, and kind of depictions of important events that happened, and then also uh, from an industrial perspective, how the communist era kind of shaped some of the industry that we still see nowadays. So, all in all, just a really fascinating thing. I love the fact that it was kind of, there was no bias and you could just make your own mind up on it. You've got to come to this museum if you are in Dubrovnik. It's 100%. so good. Yep, could not recommend this highly enough. We have come to Bellevue Beach to pass some time. And it is indeed a beautiful view. Or a? Bellevue. <laughs> We just spent a lovely couple hours at the beach. I listened to a few podcasts. And I had a nap. We didn't go into the water because we didn't feel like lugging around our towels all day. And also we decided that since we're going on a two day bus journey, it wouldn't be good to have our swimsuits get wet, have to change or stay wet on a bus. It just wasn't really practical, so we just laid down and chilled. So now we've still got probably about three or so hours until we need to go our bags back to wait for the bus. So we're gonna try and see if there's a brewery or a bar or something like that. That might be the answer to our problems.
unexpected treat. Thanks, guy. You're welcome, Fades. Mm. And we've just come out to the most wonderful sunset. Just take a look at that. But yeah, in terms of what we're going to get up to, nothing crazy. Just picking up our bags, grabbing some groceries for the few meals ahead on our epic bus trip, and then eventually getting on said bus. So. Also, this is long overdue today, but when we went to the Red History Museum, then we actually found out that, like with a number of other communist countries, because the likes of Coca-Cola were not available in those countries, then they decided to create their own versions of it. And Croatia was one of those. So they've actually got their own versions of Sprite, Fanta, and Coke. And this is their version of Coke. This is called Kokta. Or at least that's what it looks like. And it is made with the finest herbal extracts. Apparently there's about 11 of them according to your recipe. And such was the popularity during the communist era in Yugoslavia that pretty much all Yugoslavian nations that were part of it still drink it today, so I'm going to give this a pun. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. It's almost like if Coke met root beer and had a kid, this would probably be about it. It's actually pretty decent. Until the next time, take care. And keep smiling. We'll put the link in the description. To, uh, we'll put the link in the description below. Except for it's slightly less undiscovered, so I love this place. Slightly less undiscovered, so it's more discovered. No, slightly less discovered.